welcome Librans. I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back um thank you for the wonderful like shares and support this is your season's reading this is the season of uh, Aries okay um, now Librans and Aries are a perfect match okay so that is something that you um, Librans should know and um, they are bringing you in a whole lot of money okay um, so that is good so Librin and Aries is the perfect match okay um, you connect with each other and if you're looking for a relationship a Librin and the Aries is perfect to be together okay your opposite and you will find your partner in a Aries or in a Libran in Aries. <laughs> okay, all right. So, ladies and gentlemen, this season is from the twenty first of March until the twenty uh, until the nineteenth of April. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. This is a crystal reading. Remember, when we're finished, use the link below. All your four crystal is there choose one of the crystal use your link below and go check out uh, um, which one of the crystal that is going to be helping you um, to uh, make the decision okay about what is going to be transpiring now these readings these season readings is about the four most important thing that is going to be affecting you in the season of Aries now the season of Aries um, begin from the 21st of March until the 19th of April um, in these weeks we have four weeks okay and four specific energies that is going to be affecting you guys it doesn't have to go in the order that it comes up here it can goes in different different orders okay so remember and recognize that uh, you are the opposite of a uh, um, the Aries and this is going to be bringing you I see in the third week a lot of money okay so whatever is transpiring in the third week I see a lot of money coming in for you Libra we have four crystals so um, when you're finished read listening to the reading you can go use the link below and choose one of your crystals we say what a crystal one two or three um, choose one of your crystal and then you can use the link um, and uh, see how to resolve this situation in the spirit so um, this is an abundance of prosperity and money reading um, our abundance of money and prosperity reading um, we see the nine of Pentacles in the third week so the third week is the fifth um the 5th of April until the 11th of April the nine of Pentacles is here and is upright now all of your message is upright but um, we are looking at each individual per week so um, the first energy is I see a tower moment a huge tower moment in the week of uh, um, the 21st of um, uh, the 21st of March um, till the 28th a huge tower moment a huge tower moment okay so whatever is happening and transpiring something is uh, unexpectedly really released out of your life okay this tower moment is coming down with a lot of power okay this is in the week of the 21st to until the 28th is um, a, a, a huge powerful moment um, that is happening and that is transpiring and people are now um, going to be feeling this energy so you could be feeling this energy because we're in the week of the 20 um, 21st till the 28th just some unexpected shift is going to be coming in um, when we look at the energy of the tower it is about releasing a lot of you are going to be releasing people situation it could be you get fired from your work because the Mars energy is here um, the tower is the energy of Mars okay and a lot of you or could have been releasing a Leo out of your life for some sort of a reason so I see a tower moment um, could be coming down um, where you're releasing a Leo out of your life some sort of a information some sort of a situation that is going to be coming up in the week of the 21st till 28th that is the first week of the Aries season where a tower moment is going to be coming down and I see you regret you have some regrets you have you're sitting in the state of melancholy because you regret 
whatever transpired you really do regret this okay so unexpectedly um, a lot of you could be dealing with a Leo okay and this is a Mars energy where you could be losing your job or you're going to be um, receiving some sort of information that your job um, whatever that was happening and transpiring that your you know you your contract is not going to be um, signed or some sort of unexpected sudden event in your life that is going to be coming up and it leaves you a little bit in melancholy okay it leaves you really a little bit in melancholy so here it is um, this is what I said unexpected um, situation where you could be losing your job you are having problems with a huge corporation institution something unexpectedly out of the blue just happen okay where um, a corporation institution um, could have you know in some sort of a contract in some sort of a situation without you even knowing or you're getting some sort of a news uh, unexpected news from a corporation institution and I see this news is going to be hitting you because you're feeling now melancholy over whatever the information and the news that come in so whatever is to inspire can be a situation at the workplace unexpectedly um, you know you get some news that uh, yeah maybe you have to fire a group of my people you know it doesn't really matter but some sort of a problem that could be coming up at the workplace or could be coming up with a government institute or organization and I see a lot of you are melancholy about this news and this unexpected surprise it can be a situation with your work or your business a huge tower moment in the week of the 21st um, the 21st of March until the 28th so be aware of this this is a fire energy um, but it's as if this person, this organization, this institution needs to remove out of your life. Someone um, in this organization, institution needs to, you need it to be released from this organization, institution because of whatever that was transpiring. You recognize that there was some sort of an undesirable situation that you needed to end it with a corporation, institution and bring balance back in your world so this is a fire energy and it, it, it for some of you it could be the energy of some of you a uh, friendship but this is more of uh, um, yeah it could be friendship on the work floors that, that that just blow up in your face so be aware of this be understanding of what is happening take it slow um, some sort of unexpected just sudden thing so um, you know think about all the things that can happen in corporation institution you could also um, be you know suddenly recognize that you know you pay off your house you pay off your car that sort of a situation that is going to be very very good okay so that is wonderful now the second week of the 29th until the 4th of April new love new love is coming in an offer of love um, new love is going to be here to stay if you're hoping for love um, this is going to be good love and happiness in the second week so it's you know sometimes something needs to leave your life so some it can be replaced with positive energies and positive people sometimes we hold on on the wrong people in our lives and this is when you uh, liberals are going to be recognizing yet yeah, that situation need to leave my life in the first week so that I could recuperate uh, and bring that balance in my world so the ace of cups is here in the second week which is very beautiful you liberals get the most beautiful readings because you're in the Aries season and the Aries is your opposite sign because the rest of the air sign did not get such a beautiful reading so here it is why I'm doing the seasons reading to uh, help people to understand uh, you know where your luck lies with who which one of the elements and you're the opposite to, to the Aries so the Aries are really giving you a sweet steak that is coming up for um, you liberals and this is so wonderful and powerful because this is bringing in new love so in the second week this week is from the 29th until the 4th of April you are dealing with uh, um, children some of you could find yourself pregnant some of you new love could be coming in your world so this is powerful this is good this is about happiness and joy okay whenever the ace of cups comes up is that the universe is replacing and you know remove you out of some sort of a uh, this honor of a situation relationship whatever it is and replacing it with something that is so powerful and so beautiful so liberals 
um, you know expect new love to come in but also expect that you could get pregnant in um, the second week and and you know this is a situation some of you could be having your baby in the second week also so expect oh, happiness and joy this energy is about love it's about happiness and joy it's about you flowing in your element it's about you feeling good it's about you loving yourself putting yourself where um, first and understanding what is happening and what is transpired so the week of the 29 even the the last week that it was not so good the week of the 29 I see new love could be coming in for you it's going to be a beautiful timeline where um, you are going to be dealing with uh, um, happiness and joy in your world so I see um, a, res a resolution is coming to a situation at the office and a whole lot of you was having some sort of a problem issues um, at the office and some of you could have been uh, could have been fired the week before and in um, the second week you're getting a new offer a new offer okay a new business offer and this is going to be wonderful and positive so a positive positive alignment of energies is going to be coming up for you guys if you're looking for a job um, you're going to be receiving an offer so some of you could be fired from a job and bam the next week you're in a new job so this is good some sort of a problems that there was with some sort of a business affair that was going on whatever that was happening and transpiring I see people now recognizing and seeing the truth and recognizing what is going on and what is transpiring this is good this is positive and I want to say to a lot of you um, if you are looking for new love you might be meeting this person around the office okay some sort of a successful situation um, when it comes up to business a whole lot of successful situation a lot of you um, could be meeting a, a scorpion a scorpion could be coming in your life um, some of you yes could be meeting a scorpion um, some of you if you decide to do business with a scorpion it's a yes go ahead um, some of you new love could be coming in this could be a scorpion some of you um, a scorpion could be helping you out of some sort of a situation some of you are going to be recognizing you know the scorpion really do love me whatever is happening and transpiring a lot of you are dealing with some sort of a situation with a scorpion and I see some sort of a six successful endeavor um, that you're going to be thinking about creating or, rec or working on a lot of you are in love with a scorpion and I see some sort of a problem that you were in a scorpion is going to be helping you to get out of this problem okay so it's as if some of you was uh, um, you know in and out not feeling well some sort of an emotional situation that was happening and transpiring um, it could be at the workplace but you know like when you get home a scorpion um, could be really be there for you showing you love and happiness okay um, so I see a scorpion is going to be really really um, be there for a lot of you liberants in this week it could be that you're meeting um, this scorpion but I see happiness and joy work is going to be coming in a lot of you are going to be celebrating in this um, second week celebrating overcoming some sort of issues and problems at the workplace or um, in your personal life and I see new love is going to be coming in so this is powerful the second week is going to be very 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 good open up yourself to meet someone new um, a lot of you could be going dining um, out if that can but I see a scorpion is going to be really surprising you with something that you on least on least expected okay so here we go love is looking good happiness and joy some sort of a successful moment is going to be happening in the second week this is positive this is about love um, some of you could be having your baby um, delivering your baby in the second week also and it's going to be successful so something um, with some sort of uh, office you could be working from out home that sort of a thing and it is going to be good it's as if you know the week before uh, some sort of an unexpected situation that you know something that needed to leave your life left your life and now in the second week it's going to be your best week so the week of the the 29 until um the 4th of april is going to be one of your best week this is a sweet week for you guys all right another good week the third week the week of uh, 
um, the fifth until the eleventh, the third week, the nine of pentacles, the energy of the nine of pentacles. Now, the energy of the nine of pentacles, it is always Venus in Virgo. Venus in Virgo. Now, whenever Venus in Virgo is about someone that focuses only on money. So I see a lot of you, um, money is going to be coming in. Um, Venus in Virgo, um, if you recognize, um, Venus, um, is the planet of love and Virgo is ruled by, um, Mercury. Okay. Mercury. And what is going to be happening and transpiring is that you're going to be recognizing that something that you have created is going to be bringing you a lot of money. Okay. Um, some of you, you could be going through a divorce and this divorce is finally, and I see you're getting a whole lot of love. Some, it could be a legal issue. Um, that is over and you're getting a whole lot of lump sum because it's about love. Okay. Venus, um, Venus in a uh, Mercury and this could be a situation that some of you had invented something. Some of you, um, or, you know, choose to work for yourself and invented something. And this is going to be bringing you a whole lot of financial stability. And it starts to roll in the week of the fifth until the 11th of April. So expect in that week, the fifth until the 11th of April, a whole lot of money to be coming in. And it could be money that is coming from um, your sports, our alimentation, um, because it's Venus in uh, um, Virgo. So it could be, yeah, or it can be pension or it can be 4K, but it, it is money that is you don't need to pay back. However, this is happening and transpire. It is money that you really don't need to pay back. So this is like a whole lot of money coming up, all right? Um, a lot of you are in, who are in a relationship or a marriage, um, some of you could have been divorcing a Virgo, and a Virgo is going to be helping you out financially. So this is coming up, but it can also be that a lot of you are, um, you know, creating something that is going to be bringing you a lot of financial stability. So congratulations, money is going to be coming in for you guys. Some of you, it can be in the third week, especially um, in the week of the fifth until the eleven. But for some of you, it can be in the first week, second week, third week. But money is here for you guys. All right. So let's see what is being followed behind the money. A lot of you could be hoping, hoping for this money to come in over from overseas. Wishing, praying, hoping that this money comes in from overseas. Some of you could have had some money um, stashed away. Um, you could be waiting for someone to send you some money from overseas. You could be open for a um, scorpion to send you. So I see a lot of you women are really open that this money comes in is as if you have been waiting on um, some sort of a financial help and money from overseas to come in or um, it is as if a payout you're waiting for this payout you're waiting for this money to come in because you know you recognize that uh, um, this money is taking too long to come in and so I see a lot of you women a lot of you women but this is like women who create their own business unexpectedly a whole lot of money is going to be coming in a lot of you could be thinking how can i create something to um create financial flow and you're going to be getting this idea because that's what i said venus in um virgo venus in virgo is about um loving something doing something that you love that is going to be creating a whole lot of wealth and stability for you so another good week and especially business women business women because this is uh, the energy the ship and the woman business women whoever you women are that is in business it is going to be a big payout it's going to be it's as if your business is going to be picking up in this week of the 15th until the 11th um, so a whole lot of you money is going to be um you know your business is really going to be flowing things is going to be picking up so business ladies that was having some sort of a problem issue this is going to be good and it's going to be working out in the third week a lot of money is going to be coming back to your business okay business is going to be start running all right so this is good 
Okay, let's look at the last week. The last week, the last week, ladies and gentlemen. Um, we have Venus in Cancer. The last week we have Venus in Cancer. So you guys have Venus in uh, um Virgo and Venus in Cancer. So you Librans, and this is what I say, and this is what I'm teaching people. You gotta look out for who is your opposite sign because here it is. You're getting a sweet four weeks. These four weeks from the 21st of uh, uh, March until the 19th of April is going to be sweet. This is another really, really positive energy. Um, Venus in Cancer. And whenever Venus comes up in Cancer, this is about love. This is about new love. This is about, um, you know, having a child. Um, you know delivering your baby this is about new love this is about new start this is this is love okay this is love that is coming in and this is going to be powerful because again it is Venus in cancer it's all about love it's all about you sharing your heart it's all about you opening up your heart it's all about you understanding who you are and sharing your life with someone else and be happy so I see a whole lot of love could be coming in from kids in this week. This week, um, the last week is uh, the 12 until the 19, and I see that a girlfriend could be coming in to support a lot of you. Some of you men, you are going to be meeting someone new, and um, this could be this new love who is coming in your life. So, women, I see girlfriend friends are going to be supporting you let's say that you just deliver your baby I see friends family are going to be coming up but this is the energy of a girlfriend and I see some sort of an offer is here for a girlfriend okay so some of you a girlfriend is going to be offering you some sort of a um, stability in your world let's see what is happening all right so we see that a Gemini some of you could be dealing with a Gemini and they're recognizing something um, I see parents could be coming in to help some of you if you just delivered okay or parents could be coming in to help you out with the kids if you just deliver a baby or that sort of a thing friends is going to be there I see a lot of you men um, there is some sort of a power struggle between the mother your mother and your wife and your mother-in-law or your wife and your mother okay some sort of a power struggle between two women is going to be transpiring and it has to do with a cancer so a lot of you uh, Libran are going to be having some sort of a power struggle with a cancer whatever this cancer is and whatever is transpiring um, this cancer there is some sort of a power struggle that you Libran are going to be having with a cancer it could be mother daughter situation or it could be a friend but there is power struggle okay now if this cancer is your sister there is going to be some sort of a power struggle I see your parents here and uh, they are recognizing that you two are have power struggle okay um, some of you if you got fired in the first week you're going to be finding out in the last week that it is your friend a Gemini or a cancer that had gotten you fired okay so if you lose your job or you got fired in the first week you're going to be recognizing that is a close colleague a employee a close person someone who is very close to you that got you fired it's a cancer or a Gemini it's a cancer or a Gemini so you know recognize this but for some of you you're having power struggle between your sister power struggle with your mother-in-law um, a whole lot of power struggle is going on there's two female a lot of you um, one of this female is a cancer and a Gemini some of you could be having some sort of a struggle with a cancer and a Gemini but there is power struggle that is going on here and it is a cancer you and a cancer is having some sort of a power struggle Libran so be aware of this is this cancer your mom is it a sister is it um, your ex whoever this person is there is some sort of a power struggle that is going to be coming up between you and this person all right I am going to be leaving it at dot um, ladies and gentlemen some sort of a power struggle I see that uh, they could be coming down also on this young lady I see people in authority could be also coming down on you young ladies okay and it's because of uh, 
the friends you keep if you have a cancer person the cancer have thrown you liberate under the bus and I see that is what is transpiring some and that's why you're having some sort of a power struggle with a friend a sister um, a cousin um, they are the one who you're having power struggle with and they could have thrown you under the bus okay or is going to be throwing you under the bus so it is a powerful powerful season for you guys and um, this is uh, um, what I'm trying to teach people and understand you are in this um, um, airy season and the airy season is bringing you so much powerful energies um, all your four weeks are very good come back and look at this reading in each and every week each and every week um, and come back and look at the readings go back and listen to the readings to know when the weeks are coming up and this is why I do it week by week so that you guys can know ex exactly what is going to be coming up the, this week and what is going to affect you some of you your frequency is different so um, you know the last week could affect you in the first week you know that sort of a thing so don't worry I want to say to a lot of you use the link below at, in order to choose crystal one two or three or four and that link will take you to see the extended of this reading where you get advice as to how to deal with because you're going to be manifesting and creating your own experience for the Aries season. I do love you guys. I gotta go. Namaste until next time.